All right, hey Libra, so I'm doing um, a read for you guys, why you signed up, why you chose this vessel, why you chose this life. Um, I would, wanted to have these out at the end of April, but I just decided to take a step back and kind of reassess my channel. And I'm going to start doing um, reads more focused towards you. Um, and then I'll do a love read like once a week and alternate the dynamics um, that come through. All right, so you guys should resonate with this fully or check your other placements because they all have good messages coming through. These reads have been wonderful. All right, um, so if you guys are new, I do hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. And we're just going to go ahead and as, as far as the physical um, body, you guys, what, I, what, what I've been telling people is if you have an ailment, an illness, an injury, if you just have somewhere on your body that you've never quite resonated with, whether it was weight loss or whatever, um, make sure to, to give that, uh, that, that part of your body extra attention, extra love, extra care, and th that, that energy will know where to flow, all right? Embrace it and let it go, you know? Um, that's just kind of what I do to myself. Um, so you guys, let's just dip into the read and see why you chose this vessel. All right. <clears throat> I'm already seeing a good heart coming through. So I kind of feel like with the um, energies that you have been around, um, I, I got to say, you know what? It's here's, here's what I feel. So we're doing how I'm doing this is past, present and future. So what you've experienced what the king of cups dropping in reverse with this um eight of wands i mean this right here is telling me that you've dealt with the majority of relationships that is it's all it's just flighty it's flaky this right here is emotional manipulators all right so you have a good heart space right um everything that you do is is unconditional love towards the person it doesn't matter what dynamic is coming through um i feel that every movement that you make is with a good intention with a good heart um but it's almost like the energy that comes through for you is very very surfacey um and it's like these energies that come through to you they they're doing it it's like i i know that a libra will do whatever i want okay whether it's a, a co-worker a family member a friendship or a romantic partner you guys i just kind of feel like this right here is emotional manipulation to the max. This right here is uh, people who are not in, emotionally in balance. Okay. Um, moody, moody people. So it's like when they, when you approach them for something, um, you know, I feel like the tables, um, quite often have flipped on you. Um, the King of, of Cups coming through in reverse, I, I got to touch on the romantic aspects. Um, you know, and I, 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 this is not a singles read or anything like that. Um, I'll, I'll gauge it as we go on and progress through the read. But what I'm going to say with this King of Cups in reverse is in the emotional um, context, uh, the, the romantic context, I feel like you probably did just been dealt um, a, a playeristic type of energy, people who are never very fully invested into you, people who, um, you know, tend to leave as soon as you grow close to them, right? Um, that's just kind of what I'm seeing with this. It's as soon as you start feeling like this is going to go somewhere or something's going to happen with this, boom, you know, it, it, it evaporates right before your very eyes, you know, um, it, and I feel like this right here with the King of Cups, it doesn't matter if you've had long term relationships or, or they've all been short term. Uh, or the in-between, you know, I just kind of feel like the the energy is very, very flighty. All right. Um, this right here, we're going to touch on codependent factors as well. Um, and it could be too that you recognize in the past um, your patterns have been codependent or you've attracted people who have been codependent, jealous, moody, um, this not fully developed um, when it comes to the emotional body. This is like, it's emotional. It's people who are emotionally not invested into you. Um, it, while you're over here, just what you're doing is you're, you just crave, all right, that one person that's kind of the, on the romantic side that will be in alignment with you. Um, even if you're in a connection now, you know, I feel that things could seemingly be off key. All right, but we're going to move through the read and just kind of see what's happening here. Um, so what I'm going to say in the past, all right, we've, we've, we've gathered that but here in the present, all right, what you're doing is you're learning how to focus the energy back into you. So players, cheaters, liars, manipulators, people who use you, friendships, family, coworkers, this right here is where you're starting to defend yourself, stick up for yourself. This right here is standing up for yourself. All right. If nobody's going to treat you like you need, like you deserve, you're going to get, you're going to invest that back into yourself because who deserves your energy if they're not, if they can't um, match, all right, what you're putting out there. Okay. 
so and then moving into the future what you're doing is you're designing um that that the win um in all aspects so everybody that you have that you're calling into your life no more no more um flaky biscuits right here this right here is you're calling in and it doesn't matter if you're going to be solo for a long time um you know the connections that don't uh, fit you anymore it's like i'm not dealing with them you know um so it here in the past you know this design right here is to help you grow it as a person like you know um i feel that sometimes you know i and i feel that karma is described in, in many different ways but i'm going to use the term karma here um it's like sometimes us not it doesn't matter how pure our intentions are and how good our heart is uh, we wonder why do we keep calling these people in, you know, um, what's my karma? What's my karma? What I'm going to say is no, you're, you signed up for, to experience these people so that you can experience the loss in them so that you, it's like, they don't deserve you. And sometimes it takes, a, it takes us a while to kind of get into that notion. You know, I'm 38 years old, you guys. And I mean, probably just two years ago, two and a half years ago, I still was in this energy, um, you know, being 36, still, it, you know, trying my best to call in and it's like vying for people's love and devotion and attention and just it's never going anywhere. All right. And we sign up for this because you know what God in the universe and your spirit guides is wanting you to acknowledge these people, um, you know, you need to invest into yourself what you've been giving everybody else. All right. No more energy va vampires. Okay. Um, and moving forward, you guys are calling in healthy, um, healthy dynamics in all facets, all situations, tying this all together. Look at that. You got solutions coming through. Success comes from a objective compromise, self-control and patience for giving and healing energy. All right. And two, acknowledging, um, acknowledging, accepting, forgiving, and then moving away from that, from the loss. It, and really, if you think about it, it's like, was it a loss or have you just gained something for yourself? All right. Something to think about. So let's just see how your friendships and family have been. The friendships and family for you, Libra. <clears throat> the friendships and family. All right. So you've definitely experienced more sadness, more loss, more hurt, more betrayal. Okay. Okay. So here's, here's what I'm feeling. I, you know, some of you guys could be, feel like you're quite the loner. Um, and I can resonate with that energy. I'm a Libra, Venus, Libra rising. Okay. Um, but look at this and even this card right here dropped. And then I seen this, uh, seven of pentacles. All right. Which is a healing. This is a healing after a long phase. This is healing after a drought, you know, um, it's like recognizing why the connections have come through, why they've hurt you. Um, on friendships and family, it's like, again, you, you've been the giver. Give, give, give. And then what everybody just continues to take. Nobody nobody is here to fill you up. Nobody is here to console you. Nobody is here, right? I feel like you, I'm talking to somebody who is quite the lone wolf. Um, and even if you have people that you have to talk to or that you talk to or you could, you know, can you conversate with, um, it, I, I don't want to say that you feel empty by the connection, but I feel like it's still just more about maybe hanging on to something that, you know, probably is not going to stay in your life forever. You know, um, when it comes to the friendship and, fa and family, I feel like you've experienced a lot of letdowns when it comes to life, you know, um, but when we kind of trend, you know, I kind of feel like for whoever is here, you, you're experiencing some sort of a spiritual journey to some degree. Um, even on the friendships and family, do you, what I want you to kind of question to yourself is, is it actually a loss or have you gained something? Um, you know, even what I can see here is that you, you feel, you know, you're, you're, you're here and, and you take care of everyone around you, but who takes care of you at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? Um, what is it? It's like nobody, um, nobody said good night. Nobody said good morning. Um, but it, at the end of the day, all you have is you. All right. And I just kind of feel like you've experienced um, solitude, sadness, loneliness when it comes to the friends and family. Um, p again, people just not resonating with you. Um, I feel like whoever is here, you're probably feeling like the black sheep in your entire existence, right? I don't resonate with anybody. I can't connect with anybody. Nobody has the same mentality as me. Um, you know, but, we, and sometimes, you know, I got to tell you for those who are on a strong spiritual journey, um, sometimes we choose to incarnate with a family because it's just, it's easy to get us out here into, uh, the world. So like your soul tribe is in it, your soul tribe, your soul family, we're in different parts of the world, right? Um, 
and sometimes we don't have like a, a direct soul, you know, f tribe member around us. Um, but if you think about the life that you had, you're still living, you're still breathing, you know, um, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not trying to stumble on my words. It's just really hard for me to explain because um, it, it's like, why would I choose this family and these friendships if everybody's just falling away? And I, I feel like the black sheep, well, they were, it's like they were here to kind of get you out into the world. All right. And now it's like, thank you. Goodbye. All right. Um, and I feel like you have experienced a lot of sadness. And one thing that you're going to be able to do in the future, moving forward on your own journey is to connect with others who are going through that same exact situation. You know, um, you're, you're here to find your soul tribe, sometimes family and, and the friendships that we grow up with, we fall apart from because they're not meant to be here. They're here to get you out into the world. All right. And then what you're going to do is connect with other like individuals that have experienced that same thing. And then you're going to be able to help, you know, you're going to help heal. You're going to bring a healing factor to those people. All right. It's a slow process. It's been a long ride for you. The night of pentacles coming through is just like, it just never, it's never ending. It's just feeling really stuck, you know, um, boredom right here. This guy comes up in reverse. It just means you're not really sure what to do with all of this. I feel there's a, probably a lot of sadness when it comes to your uh, when you think about your friends and family who you grow who you grew up with who you thought was was going to stay um you know the knight of pentacles i just it's but what's going to happen right here and you will move out of it all right because you're you're destined to share your story with others a chariot card um in the future it's like every connection that you start to call in is going to be there they're going to stay all right and you guys are going to move forward as a team you can bet that your soul tribe is out there you guys people that are like-minded people that you resonate with are out there but you got to do a little bit of the work yourself to get yourself unstuck if you feel stuck right now um and you know what too it could be that there's maybe not nothing major going Going on with the people around you but you still don't resonate with those people um don't let these people and connections keep you stuck from moving forward because i kind of feel like for whoever's here you designed a path to move away from these energies um you're here all right to help prep the world for something and even if it's just sharing the experience of, sa of sadness and and people who use and manipulate you um you know it, even if it's help coaching people away from people who are no good you know like um keeping you stuck uh, I, can't, I can't help but feel like you feel stuck in a lot of ways and some of those energies could just be holding you back from your true purpose. All right. And it could be uh, on the spiritual aspect if you just have a, a completely different belief system. Um, it's almost like you might have some fears, uh, you know, like if you grew up really religious and you're you are really spiritual. Um, fear of what these people will say and what they, these people will do, uh, how they'll, how they'll react. But you know, it's your life. You guys, we're only losing if we're not, um, if we're not moving forward, what we know is in our heart, you know, what your purpose is. Um, even if it's a spiritual journey and sharing, um, that healing dynamic through what you've been through with others, even the closest people, um, you guys, I have, I, I, I feel that I, black sheep moving away. I hardly ever talk to my family. Um, but it's fine. I know my path. I know my destiny. I know I'm meant to move forward. All right. And help the, the collective, um, tying this together. You have the queen of Ariel, mature, practical, generous, and happy. Okay. Nurture yourself and those that you love the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. This right here is a highly, highly, highly independent person. I don't care what I've been through, but what I know is transformation is coming in a huge way. You got um, a strong sense of, it, this is independence and it's a, a strong sense of security. All right. And your, your um, investments when it comes to friendships and, and, and the like, all right, is all about protected dynamics and dynamics that move you forward. Okay. So let's just look at the relationship aspect, the romance, what you have um, signed up for past, present, and future is what we're doing here. You guys past, present, and future. All right. So let's just see what we have. So when it comes to the romantic aspects here, <laughs> look at that. We got flirty, flighty, flaky, this right here, um, I don't want to say the Eight of Wands is all, always just insincere communication. It's almost like, um, I, I, I kind of feel like for whoever I'm talking to, you've probably been more single your adult life. 
um, than actually coupled. And even if you've had a couple of relationships that you felt were long term, I still feel um, if you are single, I feel like you've had that experience. And if you are coupled up now, you know, I just kind of feel like um, there's a strong um, sense of, of needing the connection, wanting to work on the connection, wanting to build it and make it grow stronger or uh, possibly even moving away from that dynamic um, because it's not it's, it doesn't befit you. Right. Um, I, I just kind of feel like a lot of the the energies that you've dealt with on the romantic scale, it's all about um, a fun and flirty. I'm going to get what I want and then boom, I'm gone. Right. I feel like you've had more sad endings, more sadness, um, you know, lacking purpose. Uh, and it's like, what was the point of that connection? Why do I keep on connecting with people for it only to end in sadness, sorrow, pain and hurt? The Ten of Swords is all about those really, really just negative feelings when it comes to ending a relationship dynamic. This is sadness. It's pain. It's sorrow. You know, how many more relationships do I have to go before I find the one? Okay. Um, if, if you guys are one of those, uh, if you're, if you're, I, I'll say this, if you're like me, I used to question myself all the time. Why me? My intentions are pure. I have a good heart. I, I put, I just do everything to the max when it comes to a romantic um, relationship aspect. I put my heart and effort into it to the max uh, it, to where, you know what, it actually depletes me. All right. And I feel like what, you know, you're meant to experience these losses and every single loss is meant to transform you in, in, a, in a huge, uh, tr like a huge way. You think about each you know, whether it's 10 relationships or two, you guys think about um, the, the, the effect, the aftermath, how the relationship went, what it did for you. And what we're supposed to do is move away. What we're doing is we're growing. We're learning our lesson. Those relationships are stepping stones into the future. All right. Um, and if you are currently um, in a relationship with somebody, I can't help but feel, you know, um, you, you can't, uh, you can't uh, bring the past up. The past is the past, whether it's you, whether it's them, um, recognizing that the past stays in the past. Okay. Um, that's the only way we grow in the future. We can't hold on to, so especially when like we think about the past situations that had nothing to do with us. It's not our business. Right. Um, and if it's not you and if it's your partner, you know, the past stays in the past. Um, I also, uh, I look at this, uh, 10 of swords, you guys, and to me, the 10 of swords represents a cord cutting. Um, maybe it's time to energetically let go of these cords in the past. When you let go and you do a cord cutting um, ceremony, I'll call it, you, you're going to have a new stance on life. You know, you were meant to experience this pain and sorrow as, a, as a, a form of stepping stones into the future. All right. The eight of coins right here is just representing um, it's becoming becoming the person that you would want to that you want to call in. Who do you want to call in? How do you want them to act? How do you want them to treat you? All right. You have to treat yourself how you would expect somebody else to treat you. You got to put yourself above the rest. You got to put yourself first. All right. Um, that self-care, that self-love is what's most important. You put that into you um, and you demand without ever demanding respect from the per the people that 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 you call in moving forward. Okay. So what I, 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 and this is where you're at, you know, I do feel like there's a huge healing dynamic coming through on your energy. Maybe you just, you, you can't quite put your finger on it. You know, maybe you're still kind of calling in the same um, personalities, but what is it that you're holding on to? What can you see in these people? Because typically when we are calling in the same energy in a different body, it's because there's something inside of us that still needs to be healed. All right. Um, the same thing would be with a stagnant relationship where you are, cu you're coupled up, you live together and you're partnered. Uh, sometimes dynamics only change if we put our best foot forward and start to make the changes ourselves. So if you have a partner and this partner just does nothing but piss you off, you know, you got to look at the stance that you're coming from. Um, and one of the things I seen that I really loved when I watched the documentary, The Secret, was we tend to hold on to the most negative aspects in a relationship. Um, and and in order to, t to turn that relationship dynamic around to build it in a healthy environment, we think about, we start thinking about the positive things that partner does for us. All right. Um, but what you guys have coming in is the ultimate goal. You have the ultimate 
fantasy coming to you. This right here is not only about um, the wish fulfillment, you know, in the emotional level, but this is a strong sense of security. This right here is the jackpot. This is the mother load. This is the relationship that you've wanted all your life. So the more investment that you do into yourself, the bigger the return you're going to get when it comes to the romantic prospect. All right. At, at, in the future for you, it, that doesn't matter if it's the, with the person that you're with now, or if you're single, what you're calling in is the jackpot. And you can guarantee that this this right here is coming to you. Um, look at that. We have the nine and the 10 coming through the nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. It's time to let it go so you guys can actually enjoy and be a part of the happiness on the map that you have destined for yourself. All right. So let's just see what your growth through the growth through your challenges that your angels want you to recognize. Uh, your spirit guides, the growth through challenges. All right. So what do we have? Look at that. You have independence coming through on a, on a very, very strong scale for again, tapping into the lone wolf dynamic that I was saying. Sometimes, you know what? It's, it's best to move away from the energies because all they're doing is stunting your growth. All right. You got to walk away from people, places, and situations that do not serve you. And what you do is you step, all right, you step into um, yourself. This right here is um, independence. You don't need anybody to help you grow. All right. You're already there right here. This is somebody who's, who's a leader. You know, this is somebody who's very secure about themselves and maybe uh, I can't help but feel like you guys might not recognize or realize you need to give yourself more credit um, because your angels and spirit guides saying, are saying, look at you, look at where, look at where you were at. Look at where you're coming. Look at what you're stepping into. Look at what you've become. Okay. And if you think about the past and where you're at now, you guys, this right here is, it's, this right here is flawless to me. The King of Pentacles coming through. Um, you recognize yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Um, give yourself a hug. You guys deserve um all of this. Th this right here is positive energy. And even if you feel like things are just not flowing very quickly for you, they will. All right. Um, you got you have right here. This is foundation. This right here is friendships. You know um that will be built and have meaning behind them. This right here is success and moving forward with max potential into the future. The Three of Pentacles. All right. So let's just see what happiness you have signed up for that you have not seen or witnessed um, coming into your life. The happiness that's yet to come. The happiness yet to come. Libra. Wow. Oh, my God. I can't. I just I love seeing that five of pentacles. Um, so here's what I'm going to say. Um, I so I'm going to this is not um, a twin journey. This is not a twin flame read, obviously, but I do have to kind of touch on those of you who um, have a twin journey that you have signed up for. Here is here is your clue. OK, th that if you guys. Uh, if you guys really feel in your heart that you're on this journey. This right here is your confirmation that you have stepped into this dynamic. You will experience it. Okay. For those of you who have, uh, are, do, are going through runner chaser dynamic, um, ghosting, uh, you know, the in and out phases that hold space for the person, um, that you feel is your twin. Um, just a side note, it's meant to come to you. All right. So you guys need to, to stay positive and focused, um, on yourself, continue to heal, cont continue to work on yourself, your independence. Um, and just know that this right here is a confirmation that you are meant to experience this journey, this life. Okay. Um, so coming out for those of you who, um, are in disconnection. I got to say you're coming out of that really soon. All right. Um, but the five of pentacles in reverse, you know what? We're not experiencing no more hard losses. We're not experiencing no more sadness. No more. This right here is you're not being rejected no more. You're not doing You're Nobody's ghosting you. Nobody's going to leave you anymore. The relationships that you are calling in. All right. You already know, you know, within five minutes, if you, if somebody deserves any effort or time from you. All right. And, and that what you've created is no more loss. So you won't be feeling lost loss anymore. You're, nobody's taken away from you anymore. Okay. We have the 10 of cups coming through, which is the ultimate happiness, the ultimate fulfillment in the heart space. You guys, um, we already have the 10 of pentacles. So if you can just really kind of visualize what you're doing is you're going to manifest, all right, the perfect life you're going to, you're, you're manifesting. Um, you've signed up 
up for and are destined to re receive the ultimate fulfillment in your heart space. This right here is happiness. It's joy. It's love. It's harmony. All right. With this King of Wands right here, this could quite be the person that's on your heart space. Um, for some of you guys that are single, I'm going to say this. I feel like this right here is the person coming into you. Somebody who is authentic, a natural born leader, somebody who is a visionary. Um, this right here is, is somebody just with, they have, it's like they respect themselves. They respect you. All right. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. I feel like this is an energy coming towards you. And for those of you who are coupled, you can guarantee that your relationship will tighten. It's going to strengthen itself, you know, through communication, through actions and through you, you know, teaching yourself what you want the connection to become. Um, it's still calling in that happily ever after dynamic. All right, Libra, um, I'm going to leave it here. You guys uh, take care.